Hello everyone, it is Twin Plays here, back in another video, hope you guys are doing amazing. So recently we just left off with another Vibes here video, and today we are back with um, this Twitter Code UI video. Now, this isn't going to be anything too crazy, it's kind of simple, kind of easy, um, there's just a few things to it. Now, I'm sorry I haven't really been posting, I've been super busy, and I'm trying to figure out really when I want to post, because I recently talked to my Discord chat, and it's really things I just need to fix on from the last few videos, and then I will be releasing the Vibe Kit soon. So, yes, it is coming soon if you guys have any tutorials that you want me to do just let me know in the description i might just release it for 10,000 subscribers and do something like that because we do have a bit time to go but um we'll, we'll figure that out so if you are new to my channel hit that subscribe button and put on that post notifications it means so much you guys and it also just helps out the channel because once we get the 10,000 we're we're ready and we're gonna keep going um also join the discord if you're new to the channel because we have giveaways there and we talk to people and help people out so for anyone wondering really what we're going to be doing, we are going to be putting it together this code UI. Now, I did get a little help from Roscriptor kind of, but uh, I kind of just used off of my own model and really what it is. Um, it's pretty simple, pretty easy. So first of all, go in the description and look for models and you're going to be grabbing this UI right here. Now, it will say, it will say this and it'll have this little cool image. Feel free to claim it and it should say item own. Now, this means you own it, so feel free to... Grab that and load into Roblox Studio. Once you're in Roblox Studio, feel free to go to Toolbox and go to Toolbox right here. Go to Inventory and click this first one right here. Now, when you do this, um, it's going to be in this whole thing. Don't worry about this. Just delete that. Delete the thumbnail camera. And we're just going to worry about these few things right here. So we're going to ungroup this in Replicated, Server Script, and Starter GUI. Now, um, there's a few things you're probably going to be curious about and what they really are. Um, I'm going to quickly talk about just the stat handler real quick. So, if you guys are using my stats and you normally, when you spawn into your game, normally there isn't any stats in the top right, like it won't say cash, then you can do a few things. Now, um, I'll bring up the script in a second here, but this stat handler is just for testing for me. You can delete it. I recommend if you already have a stat thing, make sure to delete it. But um, as you can tell, see right here now, this is leader stats and this can be part of leader stats. Um, so in our old cash and minute script for people wondering, now um, yours should be like this. It should have this huge thing and it should be parented to the player. Minutes may be parented to leader stats or to the player. Um, but if you want your cash being showed to the, to, to the corner of the leader stats, then parent it to, then do this right here. And yes, make sure to parent it to the leader stats and then go down here and make sure this is player dot leader stats basically all that kind of jazz this is my cash saving one i'll put this in the description for people who are wondering about it this saves and everything the other one does not but pretty simple now um like i said again just double check that which one is showing or not um that one's pretty cool and i'm going to quickly show you again what we're going to be fixing later in the thing but um so what's going to happen is when you play your game or when you have just in general um there's a few things now this gui that pops up it is pretty cool so of course i have a cash up here for test but i have this little button down here now i decided to go around by just doing a little twitter code in the bottom right you can move this button wherever you'd like on your screen and i will be showing you guys how to use it with a top bar but um i put it down here for now so when you click this button it will make a noise i think you guys can hear that yeah you can hear that it will make a noise and it will pop out the GUI. It's going to say Twitter codes. It's going to say confirm code, enter code. You know, feel free to check out our Twitter for exclusive quotes, rewards to earn cash. And then you put your Twitter right there. Now, when you enter a code, you may just do something random um, and you hit confirm code. It may do this error sound and it will say invalid code slash expired and go back to submit. Now, if you do a code that actually works, so I'll keep my thing open. And I think the code was to implies if I'm right. Okay, I don't know what the code was. I think it was from plays. I think I already used this just a bit ago, so um, I'll have to look at that again. But um, there's there's a code that works. Let me actually just uh, quickly double check what this code was. I have one more. It was new test code. Okay, so yeah, I accidentally used this. So I also wanted to say that these codes you can't use again. So it is, it's not something they can just bypass. So new test code and hit submit. There we go. So do this cool little sound, say successfully redeemed, and there you go. I got 10,000. Um, and then they can close it, 
and bam, we're done. So that's what's a pretty, it's pretty cool. It's honestly really cool how I did this. Um, now I'm going to sh show you guys mainly probably just the GUI first and we'll go into it because I want to explain to you guys how you can really do it. Um, now in here we have a few things. We have the complete sound, error sound, and the, just the click button sound. You can change these to any things you like and the sound ID, feel free to do that you want. Um, then we have the image button down here and then we have the frame. So feel free to just, uh, check that out and move them wherever you want. So you can move this over here to the left. You can do whatever you'd like. Um, and then in the frame, of course, this is in the right corner. So if you want to bring it out, you go to position and we'll just set this to point three. Let's just say that for now. Um, and this is where you'll be editing it. So honestly, I should forgot to do this, but we'll make that background like that. So inside here, we have a bunch of stuff. We have the gradient. You can go in here and change the gradient colors right down here. Um, and then there's the code box, the redeem button, and then this is the info. So feel free to change this by going to the text down here and changing that up. Now, guys, like I said, you can change this all you want, change the colors, do whatever you'd like. Um, and if you want like to get rid of the pattern, you can just, you know, make it invisible or something, make a different pattern. You know, there's just so much you can do. So I just wanted to bring that out to you. I'm not going to go into too much detail on how to do this really. I'm just bringing it and showing up to you, but, um, we're going to be opening the scripts and really showing you how it works. Now, um, of course, we have the redeem button and the code box button. You could honestly just do one one box or button, but I thought it was really cool to just do it in general. Um, and like I said, guys, change all you want. There's fonts and everything, so yeah. Um, basically, let's go into scripts, and then I'll, maybe I'll talk to you guys later how, how to add it to top bar. But um, how this works is, let's say we want to look at the redeem button and the code box. So the code box is just a little double check thing. We're doing it where when the user um, clicks out of the text box, so when they click out of it or it just in general, text box focus release, then we're setting the text box text to what they entered. So that's just a double check that it was entered and it doesn't reset. So that's what this local script does. So pretty simple. Now in this script, we grab a few things. We have the button, the box, the sound done, sound error, and then, of course, we have this button activated. Now, button activated is so it works with mobile and all the other things. So, yes, this does work with mobile. So, what's going to happen is when they up, they click the button or press it, whatever you think, then we're going to set the code to, we're going to create a new local called code, which is going to be this box dot text. So, that text. And then we're going to create a new local variable called redeemed, which is going to be game replica storage and then dot redeem code, which is this remote function right here. And we're going to invoke the server and I'll put a thing on the uh, screen showing you what that means. And we're going to be displaying, I mean, sending that code up to the server. Now, if redeemed equals true, then we're going to play the sound and we're going to say successfully redeemed and wait a sec two seconds and say submit again so they can submit another one. If it isn't, so if redeem equals false, then we're just going to play the error sound and say invalid coach such expired and submit. Now, um, talking about remote functions and everything, we're going to go into the server script because this is where we have the really cool stuff about it. So we did use a data source service and this is for us to double check um, if they redeemed it or not and just save it into the data store. Now, these are the Twitter codes. So adding another one is pretty simple. Now, like I said, these were already redeemed by me, so I can't redeem anymore. I don't have any more to redeem. Now, if I want to make another one, we can just hit this Control C one of those and Control V, and then you just change the code right here. So this is going to be a uh, new YouTube code or say uh, YouTube code. So that's going to be the YouTube code. And I want to inform you guys that you can't just do like uh, 101 or else it does that. So I'd recommend just doing YouTube code. Um, I think you could if it's possible. I don't remember. I think with arrays. Nah, yeah, you can't. So just just make sure there's a letter in front in the start, and then you can add like numbers later. Just don't start with numbers because it won't work. Um, and then you have cash, and then you have the amount of numbers or amount of value you want to give to the player. So for YouTube code, we'll just do 10, okay? Um, and this is a new code that we just created. So that's basically cool. So this is where you're going to put all your codes. You can create so many, guys. You can do whatever you want. Um, and you can even keep them in there because once they're redeemed or you can make limited edition, of course, but once they're redeemed, they can't redeem it again. So we'll just say it's expired. But what we're doing is when this redeem code on server invoke. So as you can see, we're invoking the server and then on the server invoke. So it's like firing a remote server event. Basically on server invoke, we're going to grab the player and the code and we're going to go to the code store and we're going to get data store. Twitter code serve store, basically what we're calling it, and we're sending the code. And local player redeem code is we're getting async and we're sending the code store of the code 
and the player and the user ID, so seeing if they redeem the code. So what we're doing is if any of the Twitter codes in here matches any of the codes that we got from uh, this local script, I mean what the player entered, and they haven't redeemed the code, then what we're going to do is we're going to do the looter board value name equals Twitter codes, and we're going in the array of the code that we just got. So Twitter codes, we're going in this array. We're going to grab the code, and we're going to go to 1, which is going to be this just uh, this one right here. So cache, that's going to be the leader void value name. And then the amount to give the player is going back into it, but at a 2, which is going to be the value, the numbers. Then we're going to create a leaderboard value, which is going to be player.leaderstats.leaderboard value name. So it's going to be this right here. So we're going to do player.leaderstats.cache. That's what we're doing. And then we're going to do leaderboard value plus value equals leaderboard value plus amount to give a player. So what we're doing is we're getting their cash and we're adding a hundred dollars to their original cash basically then we're sending the async to true and we're saying that they got the item then we're returning to true so technically we success they successfully redeemed it so in the local script it'll tell it, it that they redeemed it and then if it's false so if they did not so if it's one of the codes but they already redeemed it then it's going to return false is what we're doing that's why this and not is pretty important um now like i wanted to say guys is if you are using my script, okay, and you don't have the cache to the leader stats and you have it to the player, what you're going to do is literally just probably, if I'm right, um, for leaderboard value, just get rid of this and just do player.cache, player.cache with a capital, and that's it. Because the thing is, even though this won't matter, like we, this won't matter anymore, like we're not going to check that, we're just going to be giving player.cache and then we're going to add this much to it. Now, that's why I'm saying because it's kind of weird because you can't just do player um, and then like leaderboard value name. It doesn't really work like that. Or, well, you could just do, let's see. Yeah, see, you can't really do that. So that's what I'm trying to say to just do player.cache and it, it, will, it will work. Um, that's because it's parent to the player and it will say that re they redeemed it. You know, you'll be good. But this is cool for leader stats and stuff. So just feel free to look at that. Um, now, for people who are uh, wondering how to add it to the top bar, I'm going to show you real quick. Um, but yeah, this is it. It's pretty simple, guys. Nothing too crazy. Um, and like I said, it will be saved so they don't, they won't be able to use it again. Um, so we're going to go back into the frame, position it back to 1. And then we're actually just going to import the model that was for the top bar thing. So we're going to go into here and I'll just grab the top bar GUI bundle. Um, and you'll just go into here and you'll go to starter GUI you'll put this in starter GUI right here um, and then you'll grab this image button actually and you'll just open the script I mean actually no yeah just open the script for a second um, and then you're gonna go to starter player scripts so I'll open that back up starter player scripts right down here and then you'll just be copy pasting this so down here and then when I go uh, Twitter code GUI so Twitter codes and then you don't know, wait for the frame and then, oh wait, no, yeah, you gotta go five, five, and then five, and then we'll go down here. I'll just do this again, and then icon.new, and then we would go with right here, which is gonna be frame five, frame five, and then you'll go to this local script, find out what this was, so it was right here, so, which was, oh yeah, this is tweening out, that's tweening out, and then this is tweening in, so we'll grab this, go like that, Boom, and then right here you can change this to uh, Twitter codes. Um, we can go, you know, T. We can go blue gradient. Open Twitter codes. Open Twitter, and we go T again. Um, doo -doo 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 -doo. And then image, you can figure that out in a bit. Um, just good luck with that, I guess. <laughs> um, you know what? Actually, you can do this. So delete. Oh wait, no. You can actually grab this image button and I'll just see if I can work this for some reason normally that works yeah so like that and then what you would do is we would just delete this and then we have the service script service so we don't need to worry about anything in the replicated storage um, and then we'll go into starter player scripts uh, and then let me pause this and just get this done real quick okay so it might do this infinite wield thing yield thing of course but um so we have the cache up here and then open Twitter codes 
Bam, there we go. So it added it. Also has that cool little thing up there. Now you can position this actually to the right over here. So I never really explained to you guys like how you really can do things. You can position it to the right. So if you want, feel free to put this on the right side. Um, and then when you open it, like I said, it will still work. Now I don't remember the code that I put in. Um, let me just double check. I think it was, yeah, so that's you can check again. YouTube code, that's what it was. Okay, and then we'll go back to Claire and Clyde and then we'll do YouTube code and we'll hit confirm code. There we go, 10 cash. So I hope you guys did enjoy this video. Feel free to hit that subscribe button and that post notifications. It means so much to you guys. Um, thank you again a ton. Look at that. We just hit 9,200 subscribers in this video. That's awesome. <laughs> I am so shocked and ready to hit 10,000. I can't wait. So thank you guys again, and I will see you next time.